Oh, that's so f***ing cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader one plane. Nice. Hey everyone, and welcome to Tech Tip Thursday here on the Quadcopter Review. Before we get started, let's just do a little house cleaning as we always do. Don't forget to look in the upper right hand corner here to uh, enter into this month's giveaway. Uh, always look here for this month's giveaway link to get your entry in for this month. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and, and ring that bell over there just so that you know when the giveaways are going on. It all, all these things help get this channel up and going even better. So, this week's Tech Tip is going to be about the V in first person view. The view. What we're going to do is we're going to calibrate a quad camera. Now, being able to see obviously is critical in this sport when you're just looking through your goggles through a camera. So there is a proper way to uh, focus in a camera, a fixed lens like we have on those and I'm going to show you how. First thing you need is a target. Now there's a couple that are super popular to use and that's the original US Air Force 1951 chart here or this focus target here. Now uh, in the links below you're going to see links to these where you can uh, get them for free and download them to focus your camera or there's an option where you can buy a sticker that you can put on a piece of board or whatever uh, from Hobby King and I'll put that link in there as well. But <clears throat> basically what we're doing here is the proper length to put this away from your camera is between 9 and 16 feet. Um, knowing that, that you're not going to be, you're going to be seeing far out, but focally what we're looking to do is see things clearly within that range from 9 to 16 feet so that we can adjust accordingly stick-wise with what we see coming. So that's what these are for and it's very simple. We're just going to take one of our quads here we're going to measure out that distance we mentioned and here on the front of your camera is where you can adjust your lens. This particular micro doesn't have a holding ring that locks it in place, it's self-locking. But some of your bigger cameras like uh, the Foxier Monster, um, it has a protective ring in there so you can set the focus and tighten in the ring to lock it down. Now, these sometimes stink in just a, a, a tech tip on the tech tips. Uh, sometimes you can use just your, your hot glue or something to lock that in and uh, prevent it from coming loose. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a total Armiton lover, for lack of ever, better words, and um, I love everything about Armiton, but every single time I get one, these foxier cameras, which is more of a foxier issue, always on my maiden flight this camera shakes out of focus and I end up crashing every single time. Now you'd think I'd be smart enough to know that's going to happen and adjust for it, but I never do and I crash. And I have a fleet of Armiton stuff. So, so let's get started. I've already measured out and um, I've pre, pre-placed a hole here. I just used one of these uh, cardboard mailers that I get all kinds of crap in. Um, as my base and take down the targets, <clears throat> put a hole in there so I can just take something, anything that's already in my house, like a, uh, a nail for a picture. In my case, it's a screw that's holding a dartboard up. I'll just set the dartboard down, put the target up, and um, get my distance away. And I'm using, which is quite funny, I'm just using my uh, cat play stand and uh, putting the quad on there, which happens to be the same height as where this target falls. So. Um, Next, what you'll see is uh, our starting point to our finish point and how, how, what you're looking for to adjust in when you're adjusting these in. All right, so just to show you guys the setup, this is what I've done. Over on the wall here, I lied. I didn't take down the dartboard. I took down what was next to it. You can see the target up in place on the wall. And then over here, <clears throat> I am just using my cat's stand 
and we're going to put the quad, you know, right on the edge, which I've measured out. I'm using 12 feet uh, right there in the middle of 9 and 16, and that's what we're going to use in order to, to do our targeting. So let's set that up. So as you can see here, I'm using the battery itself to get my camera level as to, you know, to counteract our, our 20 degrees or whatever, 35, 60, whatever you may use of angle. So I'm just using that. We got her plugged in and uh, we'll target it out and we'll switch to our DVR to see what we so we're ready to go. We got the quad here. We're looking down range at the target, which you can see has a, the center is, is a big fuzzy ball, uh, a circle. So what you do is you begin to focus in to make that circle as small as possible. Now I did end up ending uh, 10 feet away from the target. 11 was just a little bit too far for this particular camera. So as you see we focus in that blob begins to go away and then when I go too far it comes back and we're back out of focus and then we begin to come back in until we get that circle back in focus. It's a, a a process to do as you can see there we go there we go there we go and we're getting to that's pretty much it so at this point I'm set I can lock my locking ring down or whatever and we are locked in at the best focal point we can actually be on this particular lens now all the lenses I found uh, do work differently remember you're doing 2.1 2.3 you have different focal ranges and, and how you know how far out before things start falling apart um, then we went to our second target which is the US Air Force 1951 now being that this is a three line and 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 much smaller I did have to come in to about six feet in order to focus here um, but it is a different style of focusing um, and it just depends on what people like uh, so same thing uh, with this one all your lines will go blurry but in this particular case you dial it in so you can see the all the lines so the furthest down you the chart as you can the best you can so other things I figured out along the way so you know is uh, being making this video as DIY as possible you know I've taken these targets the files and printed them out on eight and a half by eleven because that's what you know most of us have access to now the files in most cases are bigger so it's kind of relative so if you want to do focusing out at that 16 feet you're going to need to print a bigger target um these cameras just are too small to see that far and and doing the research before i did this i did find that many many people said that nine feet was the best distance for them to operate under so keep that in mind when when you're going at it um, you can print it out on legal turn it sideways uh, you know get it printed even bigger at your you know Kinko's copy shop or whatever it's somebody that can print in a larger size and um, do it that way um, so that's the tip I hope it was helpful if you have any questions uh, please comment below and once again don't forget to subscribe like uh, and click that bell to uh, you know get the the notices for all the uh, giveaways that we do here on the channel and uh, tell all your friends and get as many people as we can in here and keep this channel alive thank you very much guys